What's up, lovers? Today, I am making a video that I hope you guys are gonna like because, uh, you know, every time I talk about sex, you guys are like, yes, I like this. So I am making a video for you today because I've heard, I've heard through the grapevine that you guys have issues getting bitches giving like deep throat. You know, is it difficult? I don't know. I'm like, I'm acting like I'm not practicing, so I don't know. But I didn't know that some girls are not into that. So today, if your girl, if your bitch is not into that shit, uh, I have a solution for you. So you can kind of like convince her to do that because you know, some women don't even like to give head. So for, at this point, I'm like, what, who is she? She's a retired nun or something? Like why she don't give head? I don't know, but hey, you guys be picking girls and I don't know, they don't like it or they had bad experience. Who knows? You know, that's another story. But I know you guys love it and uh, it's all fun and games and just the bitch throws up on your dick and uh, because you did something wrong. So, you know, it's a little dangerous. That's why some women are scared to do it. Like, you know, sometimes like you be sucking dick, you be, not, I'm talking to you guys, so I, I, I don't know if that's what you're doing, but hey, I'm not judging. So when women be sucking dick sometimes, uh, the guy reflex, it's a bitch because you know, we want to go as far as we can for you. So you like it, you like that feeling, but some women don't even know why you like it so much. So you gotta explain to them what it means for you, what it does to you. You know, you gotta talk. Open your mouth. You know, sometimes you need to open your mouth and fucking talk. But yeah, a lot of women are scared of doing it because they're scared of fucking throwing up. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how embarrassing it is? Yes, baby, let me come do this. And you're like, can you imagine? Can you imagine how you're going to feel when you, you smell and see the throw up on your dick? Imagine that. So for this to never happen, here is what you need to fucking do. Before I explain what you need to do, in some girls' mind, you know, the one that don't like sucking dick or whatever, they put it as like, because you don't explain what it represent for you, they, in their mind, they're going to fill in the blanks with like the worst uh, explanation of why you like her to suck your dick. So she's going to be like, well, he has no respect for women. Or does he think I'm a porn star? Does he like think I'm a, a sex slave? What does he think I am? He just don't respect me. You know, women be thinking hell of shit or oh, his ex was sucking his dick all day long so now he thinks i need to do it they're gonna have all type of stories in their mind when pretty much i'm sure you guys just like that shit that that's what i think but hey if she doesn't know you gotta tell her what it does to you so what you need to do is understand what's the barrier that she has in her head like what are the objections that she's like i don't want to do that because this so i'm gonna tell you the example of the objections that she might have and i'm gonna tell you how to like be like a magician and be like oh you said that oh i got the answer for that we're gonna do this we can talk we can say you know so i'm gonna help you if she says it's gross what you do you take the bitch in the shower and you wash together take a hot shower together show her i'm not saying show her hey bitch look i'm washing my dick you know but like she's gonna see that it's clean that you scrub down there that, um, I don't know, maybe she's gonna see it up front and she's gonna see like, okay, you trim, you shade, oh, okay, cool. Make sure like, if she thinks it's gross, make sure it's appealing. For me, put a piece of candy on your dick and I'm good to go, you know? But uh, if she's like thinking it's gross, just like make sure you might wanna, I don't know, wax your balls if you have hair on your balls. I don't know, the, the whole thing, you know, it, it gets a little musty, smelly, all that shit. So make sure. You fucking watch that shit. I told you before, I saw somebody's dick, that dick was like, musty. <laughs> and then he was like, can we do run too? No, motherfucker, you got run one. That's when, that was, you already had your pass. Like, we're done. So yes, do that. And also, if she think it's gross because she might think you're gonna come in her mouth, just tell her, no, I'm not gonna come in your mouth if you don't want to. You gotta reassure her that you're gonna listen to her wishes and you're not gonna do the fuck you want. You're like, no, where do you want me to bust? Where do you want me to go? Ask her, where do you want me to go when, when I'm ready? And then let her decide and make sure that where you say you're gonna go do that shit, you go there because that's how you're gonna... Uh, make her trust you and then eventually she'll be cool with you coming in her mouth. She'll be like, yes, baby, I'm thirsty! Ah! <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me, but but you, you get the picture, I hope. She's gonna tell you it's slutty 
first of all, I don't know what bitch you got, but uh, <laughs> hey, you picked her, so now we got to deal with her. So if she think it's slutty, you got to make her associate, you know, doing porn-like stuff like it's okay. Like, you know, when she's doing it, make her maybe look at you. And when uh, she does it, give her a compliment while she's doing it. You're like, oh my God, you're so sexy when you do that. Oh my God, if you know how good it feels right now, you know, you got to encourage her, make her feel like, oh damn, I'm doing the damn shit. And make sure like, you know, you say you're so beautiful, you're so sexy. You don't say, oh my God, you look like a fucking porn star. You know, you don't use like dirty stuff or like, yeah, bitch. Or I don't know what you tell your bitch when she's like, your day, but don't go to those uh, kind of like, I don't know if I know how to say that word, to the derogatory terms, if you understood what I'm trying to say. Don't go there because you already know that she think it's slutty. So you got to encourage her. And the other thing to, for that is that <clears throat> you need to do your part. You need to be going down on her like all nasty, licking feet, licking titties, licking armpits. I don't know. You got to lick everything because the more she's going to be aroused, even if in the beginning she's like, it's slutty, I don't do that. A bitch that is aroused is going to be more willing to do a bunch of shit for you that's maybe a little disgusting slash nasty just because she's like, oh my God, I can't. So you do that, you make her like go to almost coming and then you're like, no, we're not coming right now. We're not. She's going to be so aroused. She's going to be like, yo, I need to suck his dick. I need to swallow it, eat it, make it disappear. She's going to be all crazy. But before you ask for shit, you got to give. And a bunch of you motherfuckers be fucking selfish. You let the bitch suck your dick. And then you're like, oh no, I don't eat pussy. Excuse me? You're going to eat this pussy. <laughs> the audacity. You want me to suck your dick, but then you don't want to lick pussy. Are you for real? Excuse me? And be like, huh? <laughs> I didn't hear. Yes. So yes, guys, before you go, and ask for something make sure that she's satisfied make sure i know maybe you you guys are like oh it's it's not fair i'm not saying it's tit for tat and she does it you need to do it i'm not saying it's that but like if you know that she's like not really comfortable with that you need to make her hot and you need to make her feel like you would do anything for her to satisfy her so then you know she feels a little guilty she's like oh my god he's doing all of this for me and consciously she's gonna want to do them shits for you so yes before asking make sure you fucking give so yeah, but also when she finally does it, this one that was hard to uh, convince, make sure that you tell her when she goes down how you see her. Like, oh baby, I see you as a princess. Bitches want to be princess and unicorns. So yes, baby, I see you as a princess when you do this. Oh my God, every princess taking care of her prince. It sounds dumb, but watch number three she might say i'm not into that shit i'm not into it well bitch you need to become into it because that's what you need like you know if you guys need that she needs to become into it so how you kind of like try to convince her is just like hey you know i really appreciate when you do that that makes me feel so special that makes me feel like you love me so much that makes me feel like you would do anything for me and bitches are gonna want to please you like seriously if you're with a bitch that's not willing to do some stuff like just like sucking your dick I don't know. That's pretty basic, I think. I'm not, it's not like you're asking her, hey, can I fuck in your ass? Like, I think that's another level to me, I think, but maybe not. But yeah, sucking dick is pretty natural, I think, when you have a girlfriend and you're dating and, you know, that's your bitch. So, yeah, explain to her what it does for you, the pleasure, and explain as much as you can. Open your fucking mouth and explain how it makes you feel. Number four, she might say you don't reciprocate. Well, I kind of like touch on this on point number two, I think, or three, whatever. But yeah, motherfucker, like if you want me to do some crazy shit to you, you, you might need to want to do some crazy shit to me. You know, like, because it happened to me before. The dude wanted me to suck his dick. I sucked it. It sounds so bad, but whatever. And uh, then he was like, no, I don't need pussy. Well, we're not fucking motherfucker. Like, what? Are you crazy? Like, to me, it makes it, it's not even a thing of like, oh, I want to pleasure you, you don't pleasure me or whatever. It's not even that because it's not like tit for tat, like I said. But it just made me feel that I was not worthy enough for him to put his mouth on my pussy. And I was like, 
oh so me i can go down on you but you you can't like what to me i don't know it made me feel like he deserved it and i didn't and i was like motherfucker get the fuck out of here put my clothes on and i was like fuck you i'll never see you again you know not mad i was just like okay i'm gonna go home but why baby but why just think about it like so yes guys before asking but yes like i said earlier if you ask you gotta be able to reciprocate i don't care don't ask me for shit that you're not willing to do for me if you want her to be nasty you need to be nasty to her yes it works like that it works like that yes so that's it that's all i got guys so those were reasons or uh objections that your bitch might have about deep throating i gave you all the solutions so if the bitch still don't want to deep throat you might not have the right girl if that's what you're into i'm sorry yes all right so that's all hopefully i wasn't too uh, visual and too vulgar like i think i was but hey this is how i talk and you're gonna fucking deal with it so i hope you like this video and that you want to share it <laughs> with the whole world and so they can see how bad i talk and um what else you can like it you can subscribe and then you can uh follow me on instagram at meli monaco and at uh meli love Exo. yes so hopefully hopefully i was helpful hopefully the bitch is gonna dip throat tonight tonight tell her yes all right guys i will talk to you tomorrow if you guys have other techniques that worked that like you were able to convince a girl to do that for you when she didn't uh, you know she was a little scared let me know let me know all right let us know i will talk to you tomorrow i need to stop being loud i'm so sorry good night